Hello, Peter Kern here. So today I've got my Razer Blade laptop, and inside there's a powerful graphics card. And I want to show you what you can do with that graphics hardware, apart from just play games. The software that I'm going to use today is called Isadora. It's named after Isadora Duncan, the modern dance choreographer, but what that tells you is that this is really built for people working on stage and working with art and performance, and not just graphics geeks, graphic developers. Now Isadora is a commercial program, so you have to pay for a full license, but everything that I'll show you today works just fine in the free demo version if you just want to try it out. I'm going to use a website called shadertoy.com. It's a place where people post all kinds of interesting demos and code snippets, things that really show off the kind of eye candy that's possible on your GPU today. Now I'm just going to browse through and find something I like. You'll see that in addition to the demo, there's this, a bunch of code. It may not make a whole lot of sense to you at first, this is GLSL shader code. This is written to run specifically on that graphics architecture and run really efficiently. So first I copy the code from shader toy. Then back in Isadora, bring up my GLSL shader object. Double click that. There's a warning, and so I have to say, OK, if this sets my hair on fire or something, I'm not going to try to write to support to ask them why. And uh, then paste into that object hit compile. Sometimes you'll see a warning or something. Usually you can ignore those. Some of these things won't compile. You may have to experiment to find one that works. And uh, that's it. Now I'm ready to, to give this a try. Because this is a modular environment, I need one more object called a projector. And that's going to take the texture generated by the shader code and display it on a screen. Connect the output of the shader into the input of the projector. And one last step so that I can see what I've done, I want to force the output to, to show up above my Isadora screen. So um, if you have a second screen or a projector or something, you would display it there. But here I'm going to just put it on my main display. And there we go. There's the output. Now this is a modular environment, so we can keep going from here and, and build up a whole composition. Under uh, FFGL, Freeframe GL Effects, you'll find a bunch of effects that are also optimized to run on the graphics card. So I can pull some of these together. I can try mixing together a couple of signals and uh, continue patching and adjusting parameters. So as a musician, the potential to mix media here is expanded because the CPU and the main computer memory that you use, which on this machine is a lot, all of that is still dedicated to audio applications. You're not trying to share memory and share computational power between music and audio, which you need to perform, and the eye candy that you're producing on top of it. And it's very possible to run this in the background while you run really sophisticated audio and sophisticated synths and effects all in real time. It's fantastic for live audiovisual performance. So that's just a way to kind of begin to look into what's possible here. Obviously, it can go a lot deeper, um, but Isadora is a really fun way to play around with this. So enjoy. We'll be back with uh, some more examples like that. So feel free to get in touch, ask questions, or um, tell me some ideas of stuff you'd like to see. Thanks.